Afternoon all. I've got my own slides and everything. I didn't realise I'd got that one. The, uh, just before I start, I'll tell you a, a bit of a funny story. I was telling Helena at the back there and see if you find it as funny as she did. Um, the, uh, I was speaking to a friend last night um, who's got nothing to do with HR or Reward Gateway. And uh, I, said, I said I was doing this presentation today. And I said, have you got any advice for me? And he said, do or say whatever you can to make sure you don't resemble David Brent when you're doing your presentation. So um, I'm going to try my best um, to, to not do that. Um, but you'll probably go away now thinking, oh, that was that bloke who looked and sounded like David Brent. <laughs> Thank God for the Birmingham accent. <laughs> right, um, as, um, uh, as we just heard, uh, I'm from Selco. Has anyone heard of Selco? Raise of hands. Yes, a few. Uh, I've got two colleagues in the, the room, and I was scared that it would just be those two that would put their hands up. And uh, I wanted to do a very practical presentation about how we've used the Reward Gateway platform to be the, the way in which we communicate uh, within Selco. Now, a lot of companies have got lots of PCs around. They've got employees that are always logging on to computers and can go to the, the Smart Hub platform, but we haven't in, in Selco. Uh, and I just wanted to share with you a bit about what Selco is um, to, to give you the background of what we were dealing with. So Selco is a builder's warehouse. It's a bit like a cash and carry, uh, but we sell bricks and blocks and timber and bags of cement and really exciting uh, products like that. We, uh, we don't allow the public in, only trade and business. So we have a warehouse full of builders and plumbers and carpenters who uh, think they know best every time they come in to speak to us. We operate in almost a, a warehouse. So if you think of a really dirty, dusty, cold B&Q, you're probably picturing uh, a Selco store. Uh, we do, however, have all the bad stuff of retail. We open really early at uh, around 6.30 in the morning. We're open until eight or even nine at night, and we do uh, weekends, including Sundays. The vast majority of our employees are shop floor based, literally putting stock out, so they're not sat in front of a, a PC. Um, we don't pay excellent money. We're at sort of uh, a minimum wage employer just above and we really only offered a basic benefits package. We'd got nothing to really shout about, and anything we had got to shout about, we'd got no way of shouting about it. So that was the background to, to, to Selco. Really sold it well there. I'm sure you all want to come and uh, work for, for Selco. Um, this is just a background again, but to show you what we were dealing with, back in 2011, we'd got 30 stores located uh, in Birmingham and predominantly in London, and we were turning over about £220 million a year. And then in just sort of six, seven years, uh, we were up to 59 stores, turning over just over £450 million. We were going through rapid expansion, employing uh, a lot of new uh, colleagues. And in 2018, as we finished, we'd got uh, 66 stores, turnover of just over 500 million and just over 3,000 in employees. We also have quite a high employee turnover rate. I can't see why, but everything I've just been saying. Um, so we'd really got to think of a way we could speak to our colleagues and make them want to stay with us, which we actually thought we'd got a decent benefit package if we could just get to colleagues and sell it to them. So here are our colleagues. Uh, as I say, are just over 3,000 employees. The average age is uh, 36. 31% uh, uh, female, uh, obviously predominantly male. Um, not many part-time people, the vast majority are doing 40-hour uh, weeks, but we have got 10% part-time. We spend a lot of money on training and development, um, trying to keep people uh, within the company, trying to develop the, the talents that they have and moving them around the, the business. Um, we've got a strange workforce in that some of them are very experienced in retail, 
Uh, we've had people from Greggs, we've had people from Halfords, we've had people from B&Q and Homebase, uh, and then we've also got a mix of people from traditional merchants, uh, the likes of perhaps Bill Base or Juicens or Travis Perkins. Um, but despite the bad picture um, that, I, that I present, uh, we do a, a best companies engagement survey every year, uh, and we are continually getting better and are currently a one-to-watch company. So it was probably around 2015 when we decided to uh, launch a program with uh, Reward Gateway. And we started off just by launching a discounts platform, which we called Selco Extras. We decided that that was the way, we couldn't just pay people more money, it just wasn't there to do. But we could give them an opportunity to get more from the money they were earning. And that's why we decided to launch the discounts platform first. Um, we went about it semi-ad hoc, but in a bit of an organized way. The first thing we did is we decided on a name, and that was Selco Extras. And it was all about helping employees' wage go further. So whether it be spending, uh, uh, getting a 9% discount at Curry's, whether it be saying, would you like a 5% rise on everything that you spend in Sainsbury's? Well, you can if you uh, purchase your vouchers through Selco Extras. We really tried to discuss it at every opportunity, whether it be in regional meetings, whether it be uh, in inductions when we were taking on new starters. And we really tried to emphasize the ongoing savings that people could uh, could make. And you can see there on the slide some of the in-store, uh, sort of offline uh, media that we did, whether posters um, or whether it be the Let the Savings Begin Benefits booklet that we produced. And down on the bottom right-hand side there, that's just a, a snapshot of what the inside of that benefits booklet uh, looks like. Stage two, how we progressed that is we eventually got sign off on the Smart Hub platform to build on the, the discounts platform that we'd already got, and we rebranded it as My Gateway. And the idea was is that we would make My Gateway the place to go for everything to do with Selco. And we communicated it and communicated it and communicated it. We really wanted to bang the drum that if you could just get people over the hurdle of registering, it was well worth the benefits they were going to get. So we linked a lot of things to, to My Gateway. We started doing social recognition and we designed our own e-cards, some of which you can see on the, the left-hand side. We started doing Cycle to Work through the, the My Gateway site, which was launched at the, the same time. And we also tried to be a bit clever by linking in other elements of what employees may want that we couldn't actually get through the platform. So all the policies and procedures, for example, that an employee may need to do their job, we saved them on a secure OneDrive account and actually created a tile on the Smart Hub page that when you pressed it, it was just literally a link through to the OneDrive uh, folder where they could access all the policies and procedures. We would got um, a, an employee suggestions program where people could log in, put in their employee suggestion, and it would come through as a report for us to review. But rather than having that as a separate program, we actually linked it through to the Smart Hub as well. We were trying to put as much in as we could to encourage people to, to register, because we were convinced if they registered and went onto the platform, they would then be active users and keep looking at it. But then we were having a, a meeting with Helena, um, our account manager, and we looked at this graph. Uh, people who have got the platform may recognize uh, this graph. Uh, people who haven't, um, this is uh, a part of the software where you can see what the scheme spend is. So this tries to show us the amount of money being spent through the discounts elements of the platform we've now got. And as you could see uh, from this in August 17, it was slowly going up and up and up. But from January 18, it just flattened off. And we didn't really know why. 
we thought we were doing a great job at putting as much as we could into this now branded My Gateway site. But we knew that the amount of money people spent through the discount site was a good indicator of how engaged people were with the platform. And what was happening is engagement had virtually just gone. We knew that Christmas had just gone, perhaps that's why people weren't sp spending as much, but as you can see, it was just dead horizontal. People weren't spending. So we had to come up with a, an idea of what we could do next to try and get that spend up, uh, which would actually mean people were engaging more with the platform that we'd spent a lot of time and effort in, uh, as I say, called My Gateway. So we came up with the concept of Mad March, uh, which sounds very intriguing. Uh, I think it actually more relates to the fact we were mad to, to do this, but we, we thought we would give it a go. The aims of what we defined as Mad March were we wanted to raise awareness of the benefits that we did offer employees. We actually provided, uh, and we still do, a free health cash plan provided by BHSF. We pay for that as Selco, and every employee gets a health cash plan where they can claim back towards their glasses and their dentist, et cetera, and et cetera. They can do that, and we pay for it. We thought that was a great benefit that no one else was doing that we knew of, but we were struggling to communicate it to uh, employees. So one of the aims of this Mad March campaign was to raise awareness of all the benefits we offered, including the health cash plan. We wanted to raise engagement levels, as the second bullet point says there. We wanted people to actually appreciate the benefits that we were offering, getting people to talk about My Gateway, getting them to want to register, getting them to speak about it with, with each other. We also wanted to improve communications to employees. As I said, we got these benefits. We'd got all these policies and procedures. We'd got the employee suggestion scheme. We'd got cycle to work. We'd got all of this going on within the My Gateway platform, um, but we weren't very good at telling people it was, it was there. We wanted just to generally increase traffic to Smart Hub because that was where we wanted uh, everyone to go to for policies and procedures. And we also wanted to launch uh, holiday buying, which we'd never done before in Selco. It had taken us, uh, I was going to say months, but probably more accurately years to get the sign off that we could do holiday buying because the finance director, the CEO was convinced that everyone was going to buy all this holiday. They were never going to be at work. And then before we could claw any of the money back, they would leave uh, and we would be left with no employees turning up. Uh, and people just leaving left, right, and center. So again, on the left-hand side there, just an example of some of the offline uh, POS that we did. Uh, the, the one at the front there is how we launched holiday buying. And the one in the background was another element of, of Mad March. And we did the big, I'll be careful how I say this, the big egg hunt. <laughs> and it was a, a bit of an original idea where we were Coming up to Easter, obviously, in March, we were going to hide an Easter egg on the My Gateway platform somewhere. So we would got lots of pages, lots of blogs that the leadership team were now putting on. We'd got links to other systems that I spoke about earlier on. And we wanted people to start having a good click around, not just registering because they were told to register, but they're never engaging with the platform. We wanted them to really get to grips with what was where and all the functionality that the site had to offer. So what we said was, register, or if you're already registered, log in, have a click around. Somewhere there is uh, an Easter egg. If you can find the Easter egg, click on the Easter egg, and you will automatically be entered into a free prize draw that was all administered for us by Rewards Gateway. So how we launched it was, again, more offline media because we haven't got people in front of, uh, of PCs. You can see uh, another version of the holiday buying poster there uh, and our internal magazine called Spirit. We also launched the competition and re-emphasized 
the um, My Gateway site through the magazine. For the first time, and this sounds almost common sense, but we hadn't really done it before, for the first time we wanted to really engage our regional managers. So we'd been trying to directly speak to employees, but we were struggling because we'd got a battle with regional managers that were saying that HR was just getting in the way and people had got stock to put out and they didn't want them registering for this thing called My Gateway. And we'd also got to get through the barrier of store managers who hadn't really bought into the concept of My Gateway either. So what we said was, we'll actually have a competition with store managers and regional managers, because the one thing we did know is they're very competitive. They hate being second best. They hate the regional manager sat next to them, not being, uh, or being better than what they are. So again, through the analytics part of uh, the, the site, we gave them lots of information about the number of people registering, uh, the number of people using the platform, uh, the spend on the graph that you saw, uh, which gave an indicator of how much people were engaging with the discounts part of the platform. And we actually uh, gave a hamper away. It sounds very simple, but you'll be surprised what people will do for a hamper. Uh, we gave a, a hamper away um, to, to the regional manager that had got the, the best uptake for their, for their region. I've also not liked David Brent. I've got some notes on other stuff we did. We sent automated uh, emails out to employees that had already registered, and Reward Gateway did that for us because part of the registration process means that we knew the employee's email address so we could communicate with employees who'd already registered but perhaps weren't active users to encourage them to, to go back in and start using the site. We launched holiday buying which was a big new thing for employees. Um, we sort of only offered 20 days basic entitlement, and all of a sudden we were saying you could get that up to 25 days if you wanted to. And you know, people, some people, not as many as you would think, uh, said, well, it's just authorized unpaid leave, really, because we're just paying you the money uh, that we're then going to take a day off for. Um, but even though we may think the majority of people were saying that, it was actually just uh, a minority. People really liked the, the holiday buy-in. Um, the Easter egg competition, um, we did a, this was interesting actually, the, the 100 pounds that we were given as a, a prize draw for the person who found an Easter egg and then got entered into the draw, we actually used, we sort of soft launched in effect, the instant awards part of the site. So rather than saying, Joe Bloggs, we picked you out of the hat for finding the Easter egg, here's your £100 check, or here's your £100 uh, one for all voucher, uh, we actually gave them a £100 credit via the site, which they could then use uh, to buy instant awards on the discount part of the, of the platform, which uh, went down really well. And we also produced a video, uh, because we like a, a good old video, so I want to share that video uh, uh, with you, if that's all right. That's the end of that. <laughs> so uh, it does go on. Uh, there we go. I won't, look, I won't make you watch it again. So um, that was a, a video that was put together 
Um, it was put together by Reward Gateway, so anyone who's a, a customer of Reward Gateway, get on the, at them to uh, put a video together for you. We started sending links out to regional managers. We started sending links out to store managers. We started showing the video at all the regional meetings we were going to. We tried to play it wherever we could, so much so that people were absolutely sick of it. Um, so Mad March sounds very intriguing, but it was actually just doing a lot of the basic things right and doing it in a very organized fashion and getting buy-in from everyone, not just trying to go directly to employees. After the campaign was run, here were the results. So the, the graph that we looked at about uh, employee spending through the discounts part of the platform, uh, that increased by 21% which was fantastic. Uh, registrations grew by 15%. So we got about two thirds, I think it was 68% or 2,131 people were signed up to the site before we did Mad March uh, and that went up by uh, 15%. Uh, there was a 4% take up of holiday buy-in. Um, we actually think that was a good result. I know it sounds like a very small number, um, but it was actually a decent amount of people uh, that signed up to, to holiday buying. And because of that holiday buying, we could really shout about the fact employees saved around £13,300 in total um, because of the NI contributions that they then weren't paying on the deductions that we'd taken off them for the, uh, for the holiday they'd purchased. But also, Selco saved £6,100 in the employer national insurance contributions that we didn't have to pay because we were paying people less because of the deduction because they purchased holiday. So in itself, when I was trying to sell it at the end that it had been a success, although a lot of this was done internally or free of charge by Reward Gateway, in terms of time and effort, it had even paid for itself through the £6,100 saving that, that Selco had, had had. And no one, this was the biggest result, no one could get that annoying jingle uh, out, of their, out of their heads from the, the video. Uh, as I say, it's probably best that it did cut off because it was about four minutes in length of just the dun, 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 and it just keeps going and keeps going. Anyway, so that was, that was Mad March and it sounds as though we did something really exciting and really out there and outrageous, but it actually was us just sitting down and coming up with a plan where we weren't going to try and solve all the world's problems in one go, but just to take tiny practical steps to really embed what we branded as uh, my gateway. So that was in March, April 2018. So where are we now, just to give you an idea? So we've got rid of the, the benefits booklet. So it's quite a thick booklet where we try to uh, really sell the benefits of the, the, the pension scheme, uh, which we, was difficult. Uh, really sell the benefits of death in service, which is also a bit difficult to do. Uh, and now we just have a, a leaflet that new starters get. And it doesn't sell the benefits of working at Selco, it just drives activity to the My Gateway platform. We decided not to make it very corporate, so here's a bit of a, a screenshot of what our site uh, looks like. Uh, it was a very conscious decision to make it look non-Selco, uh, because we didn't want people just thinking that it was a hidden way of getting people to do more work by logging in in their, in their own time. So we, made a, we tried to make it look a, a bit funky in effect. Also through the different links that come off those tiles uh, for those that have got Smart Hub, we also did access to another hub called My Hub. So our employee self-service portal, uh, we brand as My Hub. And rather than driving people to log on directly to that URL, we actually encourage them to go to My Gateway and to click the tile to go to My Hub. So we're really giving the impression that My Gateway is the place to go for everything. We still do cycle to work now um, through the, the platform which goes down uh, a storm. 
We do holiday buying, as I've already spoken about. Cycle to work and holiday buying is, um, is administered by Rewards Gateway. We've got um, a company uh, that was uh, Cortexa, now Calidus, if ever anyone's heard of them, where we've got all our uh, e-learning content. But again, rather than getting people to log into a separate platform, we actually put the UR URL link behind a tile on my gateway. So people had to go into my gateway, click the tile, and that then got them into the e-learning platform. And something which um, our IT people did, don't ask me how they did it, but they did it, um, rather than logging in through the Cortexa platform to do all your e-learning, we actually did single sign-on. Uh, I think maybe the term, but I, some techie person may tell me it's not strictly single sign-on, where the system would recognize you as a Selco employee because you'd logged into the My Gateway platform, and then through clicking the link to the e-learning content, it wouldn't ask you to sign in again. It would recognize who you are and log you straight into your, to your e-learning uh, platform. So it really felt seamless to the, to the colleagues. As I mentioned, um, it was only something I think that got said in passing, but it really works well. And it's using OneDrive, sharing a folder, putting the URL link that you use to share, embedded into one of those tiles that we've branded policies, procedures, and reporting, just the red one there. And when you click it, all it's doing, it's taking you to that secure OneDrive folder that then has all the internal policies and procedures in, which is managed very separately to my gateway, but that link into the folder makes it seem seamless to, to colleagues. Uh, and also the, the Bright Ideas employee suggestion scheme we've got, Again, that's a separate platform, but we only provide the link through my gateway. So there's all this separate stuff going on, uh, but employees really now start to see my gateway as the, the place to go. So what I thought I'd, I'd finish on, uh, and none of this, as I say, is, is rocket science, but I hope it gives people in the room um, a bit of reassurance, really, that. Selco is a very down-to-earth company. We've done nothing special. We haven't got special employees that are whiz kids on computers, um, but we knew there was a need to communicate better with our colleagues. And the reward gateway platforms, whether it be the discount site, whether it be the smart hub site, whether it be instant awards, has enabled us to really start talking directly to colleagues. And over the sort of four, five years that we've been, we've been doing this, these are our main learnings, really. The first one is about making a plan, and I know that sounds obvious, but we, me especially, was the world's worst at just jumping in at the deep end and saying, right, we've got a discount site. I wouldn't care less about how we were going to launch it. It was all the nice stuff about, what should we call it? Selco Extras, that sounds great. We need a logo, let's get us a logo. Uh, and then we got this site and we didn't really have a clue about how we were going to launch it. So make a plan, that would be always uh, a bit of advice I would give. Uh, this one, uh, get buying from the company in a way that is fit for your audience. So uh, I learned this the hard way, really. When I was speaking to the finance guy, I spoke about numbers. Um, when I was speaking to the CEO, I spoke about how easy it was going to be and he wouldn't have to get involved whatsoever. Um, <laughs> when I was speaking to the ops guys, I was speaking about how much time it was going to save them uh, and how efficient this would make a lot of the paper-based things that we'd got in, in HR. And then when we were speaking to our HR colleagues, we started speaking about how we would drive engagement and provide better benefits uh, for, for our employees. So I would really say that tailor your message to the person who you're speaking to, which, uh, which I know makes sense, uh, but I was the world's worst as, a, as an HR person talking to the finance guy about how engagement was gonna be better, people would love it, health cash plan is going to go through the roof because everyone will know about it uh, and really he was just sat there glazed eyes thinking well how much is it going to cost so really uh, hone your message to the person that you're, you're speaking to 
drip feed a consistent message is the next one. And what we've learned is if you keep changing tact on why you've got the platform, people tend to lose focus on, well, is it for this reason? Is it to get discounts? Is it to get the policies and procedures? Um, is it just another HR initiative that will be replaced by something else uh, in a couple of years' time? Uh, really decide what your message is and just keep going with it. But don't make it overcomplicated. Uh, people don't like overcomplicated stuff. Uh, and that was why we just went with my gateway, so the branded site for Selco. My gateway is just the place to go, whatever it is you need, whether it be to submit a good idea, policies and procedures, cycle to work, holiday buy-in, just to find out about our benefits. One minute to go. That, um, that was the, the message we were giving people. Um, you may have noticed we spent quite a lot of time with a brand and a feel. So even though it was an online uh, platform, every time we did a poster, every time we mentioned it in the internal magazine, we made sure it was branded the same. So uh, people would, um, almost without thinking about it, know all the content was related. Keep giving people reasons to visit the site. Lots of people say start off tiny and just add bits gradually. I would sort of go against that and just say throw as much content in as you can and give people lots of reasons to be logging on. Don't be too corporate. I've mentioned that one. Um, keep changing it and improving it. Uh, and this is probably me all over. As soon as we've been successful with one thing, we sort of say, well, what's next? What are we going to do next? Um, and you need to be the biggest advocate. So people laugh at me that I will know uh, a lot of detail about what discount you can get at Curry's and how it was 8% and then it went to 9%. It's just come back down to 8% now. And uh, at the moment, Marks and Spencer's is at 10% and that's the best it's ever been. And you have to just keep on driving home <laughs> about discounts. And uh, so you need to be the, the biggest advocate and have that what next attitude. So we've just launched uh, long service awards uh, in Selco. Uh, massive, we've spoke about that for years as well, but we've just done it. We give people a little pin badge, they get a certificate, they get a financial uh, reward, but do we give them just a one for all voucher or do we put it in their wages? No, we do it through My Gateway, we do it through instant awards, so people get a nice little email, as I do too got, to say, congratulations, thank you for all your hard work, you've been with us 10 years, and if you log on to My Gateway, there's a 100 pound waiting for you to uh, enable you to buy a, a voucher for any one of the hundreds of retailers uh, on the site. So those would be the, the top tips I would, I would give. So in true e-card style from our social recognition wall, uh, thanks for listening. And if anyone's got any questions, I'm uh, told to submit them through the app or just catch me in a break or something and I'll try my uh, best to, to answer them. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs>